welcome to my channel if you don't know me already my name is Duration. Um, in this video that you guys are watching today it will be about our 151 day NICU stay in this video you guys will see things like my first time holding Dakota um, her recovery after trach surgery and just so much more if you follow me on social media then you pretty much already know why I created this channel so let's get into it specialist visit today um, I'm just showing y'all the room last time we pretty much got some good news everything was looking better my body was holding better my baby was good normal she was actually sleeping pretty good last time so hopefully we have some good news today and everything is still all good. I'll keep you guys updated. I already uploaded it. Oh, what? Why? You think they gonna be on you or something? <laughs> so before I even actually had Dakota, I had to spend a month in the hospital upstairs from the NICU. Um, just trying to stay pregnant um, if you didn't know before my placenta was bad during my pregnancy so my blood flow from me to her was not good which caused her not to really be able to grow um, which is why she was one reason why she was so small and so that the doctors could keep an eye on my cervix to make sure that my cervix wasn't opening up as well for her to just be able to just come on out Hey guys, um, so I just wanted to make this updated video um, before my phone died. Um, tonight is my first night being admitted into the hospital. Um, I was actually admitted a few hours ago and now it is officially my birthday. So. I am actually spending my 29th birthday in the hospital um, trying to nurse my first baby um, into the world, which is so crazy. Um, my plan is to keep her in here as long as possible, as long as I possibly can, um, just to get her weight up and strengthen her um, so that I can have a healthy delivery um that's the hospital plan so my day just to go over my day today um i was actually going to a routine checkup which um since i'm high risk um i go to the hospital weekly every week every wednesday sometimes two times a week so um today was just uh my usual checkup um and up until this point, everything has been pretty stable. Um, it hasn't been the best, but it's been stable. Um, so today I ended up going in and her blood flow actually dropped. So I was basically sent to the hospital that I was originally supposed to deliver at. With that being said, um, they are not equipped to possibly deliver a child um, as small as my baby is right now. Um, 
or like just with you know the risk that I have so they actually sent me to one of the best hospitals in Texas um, I've heard that it's actually one of the best hospitals in the US which um, my friend actually did some digging to make sure and told me that so um, I'm feeling a lot better I'm not as worried Here we are at the Harris Hospital downtown Fort Worth visiting Dakota. Today is a big day for my baby. She is officially in her crib. Have your baby at the best place to have one. Yes, yes. This is the NICU. So before entering the NICU, you have to write down your baby's last name, your relation to the child, and also the room number that your child is in. You also have to get scanned in, which is a temperature check to make sure that you don't have a fever, which you'll see me doing now. Okay. see me washing my hands as well before entering the NICU fingertips to elbows I had to set the phone down because I didn't want them to know that I was recording see my baby today yesterday she got on the high flow which is one step closer to coming home and this is where we were staying at we were staying in one of these rooms in the hospital it's like parent living but yeah my baby is on the high flow which is one step closer to come home and she's have a crib now Hello. 
Look at my princess. So pretty, Coco. <laughs> so this is just a Say quick hi. view of what the high flow look like. Say hi, which is Coco. just the oxygen going up her nose instead Say of the hi, full Coco. face mask, which is called the bubble CPAP. Dakota's big girl bed. This was her room set up um, at the NICU in Harris in room one. At this time, we really thought that she would be coming home soon, but things had took a slight turn. <laughs> Look at you, mama. She looks pretty happy. Aww, looks Literally, the next day, Dakota ended up getting really, really sick. She ended up coming down with pneumonia, which is a bacteria in the lungs. Um, this was such a hard time for us. It was literally our second time almost losing her. She had gotten so sick to the point they just had to remove all the other babies out her room. Um, she was so sensitive to noise. Any loud noise around her would make her heart rate and her oxygen just drop. But if you know, you know, my girl is a fighter. Okay. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Shortly after her recovery, it was time for trach and G button surgery. We was so, so nervous about this surgery as this was her first major surgery, but we was moved into this isolation room, which I feel like was great on the hospital end because her surgery was such a success. Her recovery was such a success and I was just impressed. Thanks for watching part one of our 151 day NICU stay. Please continue to keep watching for extra added clips. If you have any questions you would like answered, don't forget to leave comments below. And please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't be scared. Stay tuned for part two. See you guys next time. Turn that sucker on. There you go.
this whole yeah she okay you okay mama fight your daddy <laughs> make him sweat you're okay You can turn your head. Your head's not gonna do anything. I right. know. Can you see her? Oh, do you look see how at comfortable her. she looks? She look loves at this. Her.